Oh my goodness. Hello everybody and welcome back to another video of mine. Um, unfortunately, this is my second time filming this makeup tutorial. I tried to film this yesterday, but I just did not want to transfer from my camera to my computer, my MacBook. So I'm deciding to film it on my phone so I can just airdrop it to my MacBook to edit and everything. I just got out of bed to film this video, so don't mind my bed. Um, yeah. I just did my eyebrows just now. My brow product was actually running out on me as I was doing my brows. So they look terrible. If you guys want to know how I do my eyebrows and stuff like that, you guys can watch my last makeup tutorial. Um, I showed you guys how I did my brows in depth. Let's get into this video. I already went ahead and wiped my face off with um, my cellar water first i prepped my skin with these two products right here i use the snail um mucin power essence and this numbuzin serum i don't know how to say it but it's just, it's just a serum that i use to prep and hydrate my skin so to moisturize my skin i'm just gonna use the pons dry skin cream i find that my makeup sits best on this moisturizer rather than any other moisturizer whichever moisturizer works for you go ahead and use it i am using some new products in this video um i actually ended up really 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 liking these products i'm still going to tell you guys the products i used before i got these products yesterday just so it's authentic and i'm still giving you guys my everyday routine but just know that these new products that I am using, I'm going to continue to use them. So they are going to be a part of my new routine. But if you guys want, you know, more authentic, I'm going to tell you guys what I used before, if that makes sense. Now that my skin's moisturized, I'm going to prime my skin. So before, I use the Milk Hydro Grip primer it looks like this very very nice primer i still love it i feel like i will still reach for this primer but for right now i just tried the mac prep and prime skin base oh my gosh the skin base massage and i really 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 liked how it sat on my skin and made my makeup look so i'm just gonna take the pump and put it right here on my nose and the rest on my chin and then just rub it in I am filming this on my phone so hopefully the quality is still good because I remember you guys complaining on my last video how the um quality was terrible these brows make me look so angry my skin is so light right now it's crazy but um yeah i remember on my last video you guys were complaining about how the quality should have been better and everything like that but it's because i accidentally clicked the other version not the 4k version so next i'm gonna go in with some concealer I use the Too Faced Born This Way in the color Almond. Get under my eyes right here. And then on the other side as well. But yeah, I literally bought a whole camera. I just need to learn how to use it. Because this is not working out for me. Let me, let me show you guys my camera. Like, look at this. I bought a whole Canon G7X Mark III. Oh, it's literally filmed yesterday. But, I don't know what to do. Anyways, 
I'm also going to take some on the side of my nose right here. I'm going to take the Huda Beauty Faux Filter in the color Royal Icing. It's a lighter shade right under my eyes. Like, you can see that right there. Yeah, I decided to do a updated makeup routine because my last makeup routine was all the way in the summer and since then I've learned a lot, a lot more about makeup. Next, I'm going to do my foundation. So I'm using the MAC Pro Longwear Nourishing Waterproof Foundation in the color NC35. Normally, I have these on hand. It's the NARS Soft Matte in the color Barcelona Medium 4 and the Estee Lauder Double Wear in 3W 1.5 Fawn. These are Holy Grail foundations. And I think this is a next Holy Grail because these, this one especially, I get the most compliments when I go out like, oh my gosh, are you even wearing foundation? Blah, 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 your skin looks so good. All this and that is when I'm wearing this. This is when I'm like going out at night or something and I just don't want my makeup to move. But regardless, this doesn't move either and this obviously does not move. But they're both really good. They work very similarly. And I do have like combination skin. Like my forehead is dry. Um, my T-zone is super oily. And then my cheeks are somewhat dry. Yesterday, I picked up the, this primer, this foundation, and this foundation as well. I have not tried this one yet because I just tried this one yesterday and my makeup looked so freaking good. So I'm gonna do it again today. So basically, I'm just gonna take this and I'm gonna take a little bit on the back of my hand. I like to use my hand as kind of a palette for my products because my hand keeps it like warm and ready to go. These are my brushes. I'm gonna take this. This is the e.l.f. Ultimate Blending Brush. It's a foundation brush. I'm just gonna take it and thin out the product a little bit just so I'm not caking on product like crazy. And then I'm just gonna go over this foundation brush, I have never switched this brush. Like this is the only brush I'll ever use for my foundation. Just to put that out there, this is a really good brush. I like to just bring it all the way up here by my eyes. And then I'm going to put some on my nose and I'm gonna pinch this brush a little bit grab more product and kind of sweep it in between my brows like so and then you like have that little thing right there so I'm just gonna blend it in a little bit I don't like too much product on my forehead because it just doesn't look right to me personally okay and then I do have some leftover products. This brush, this is by Ariel. It's A19, it's the flat brush. My boyfriend got me these brushes, like the whole set for Christmas. And I freaking love them. Like, they're life-changing, to be honest. So I'm just gonna grab some on the flat brush and I'm going to clean my eyebrows with them. Well, the top of my brows. I don't really clean the bottom of them. As you can see, just this brow just looks so much more cleaner than this one. And then whatever I have left, I just wipe it off with a makeup remover pad. I look crazy. So after we've done that, I'm going to cream contour. So I used the LA Girl Pro Conceal HD High Definition Concealer in the color Toffee to cream contour. I lied. 
I totally just lied to you guys' face. I'm gonna blend in my concealer actually. I'm going to spray my face with the Milk Hydro Grip Setting Spray. And I'm gonna take this little sponge and blend everything in. And then when it goes around my eyes, I mean, when it comes to my eyes, I like to take it and bring it all the way up, 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 like that, because it like lifts your whole face, basically. And I have like really high prominent cheekbones, so it just highlights the top of them and doesn't drag my face down or anything. Look at that, beautiful. So now we're gonna do the same thing to the other side. So now that I look like a ghost, I'm going to take my cream contour, same thing. I'm gonna put it on the back of my hand. Um, I didn't grab that much product because you don't need a lot, to be honest. And then I'm going to take the Ariel Brush number 58. This is the cream contouring brush, I believe. And same thing, I just spread the product really thin over here. And I just take it and place it on the highest point of my cheek that's going out this way. Like this is like the highest point of my cheekbone, but this is like what pokes out. So I just wanna define that. I know I don't really film YouTube videos like that anymore which I really want to try to start doing but I just have such a big lack of motivation when it comes to YouTube and I really hate it I'm also going to take it onto my forehead but yeah I have such a lack of motivation when it comes to YouTube because I feel like I've just I've been doing it for so long like if you guys we're here. I started this when I was in eighth grade and now I'm a freshman in college and like I feel like I could have been something bigger on YouTube but I just stopped. But I'm gonna try to pick it back up because you guys show me a lot of support and everything like that. So next I'm going to take a29 and I'm going to go down my nose same thing on the other side and then bring it up on the tip of my nose and then I like to put some right here I feel like it really depends on your nose shape though I'm going to take my sponge and just kind of blend that in. It's very subtle, but it's there. So next I'm going to take the Rare Beauty Blush in the color Hope. And I'm going to just take a dot of it on each cheek. A little bit goes a long way. This is the Ulta Beauty Precision Foundation Brush. It's like a flat angled brush. And we're just going to blend that and take it up on the cheeks. Now that I've done that, I'm going to take the Huda Beauty Faux Filter Concealer again. Same color, Royal Icing. And as you can see, it like brought it over here and you want that lifted look so we're just gonna put a little bit right there and a little bit on the inside just to brighten up our eyeballs same sponge and just blend that all in and bring this up this also just helps to blend in everything that has sat in like my creases and stuff just to make sure that there is 
as minimal creasing as there is because makeup is makeup and we do have little grooves and creases in our skin which is perfectly fine and makeup does like to sit in those places so I'm just gonna blend that out to bake I'm going to be using this this is the Fenty Beauty um, Pearl Filter Butter I just tried this yesterday as well and I freaking love it so normally I use the Huda Beauty um, in this shade banana bread for like around my nose and my chin and like to carve out and stuff and sugar cookie hey y'all so I literally just had to sit here and delete heck of stuff off my phone for storage I wonder if there's like a way to buy storage cause like I buy iCloud storage but I still run out of storage all the time I had to delete so much stuff and with this powder I'm going to use a little triangle looking thing got this off of Amazon I'm just going to go under the eyes and down the sides of our nose I deleted Snapchat for this video and TikTok, so yeah. And then we're gonna take some on our forehead right here, just to carve it out a little bit. And with this side. And while we're letting this kind of just sit and simmer into the skin, which sounds terrible, to do our eyes. So what I do is I'm going to take the Dior Forever Skin Correcting con so whatever, Concealer um, in the shade 3WO. And this is like kind of the shade of my foundation. I actually have the backstage foundation in this exact same color, so it is the shade of my foundation. And I'm gonna take the sponge and we're just going to blend it into our eyes just as a base for um, when we put a little bit of product on our eyeballs. And I like to bring it up to the eyebrows so that it looks all seamless. This is the um, brush A14. I'm just going to blend it all in. I'm going to do the same thing to the other side. I'm to set that all in. I'm gonna take my Charlotte Tilbury Airbrush Flawless Finish Powder in the color Fair. Take this brush A11 tap it off and just set my eyes so that it doesn't crease or anything and as you can see it already is looking very very nice huh I'm gonna say myself look at my little ponytail that is so embarrassing don't pretend like you never saw that so next I'm going to take the physician's formula um, this bronzer it's in matte sunkissed and same brush just gonna swirl it tap it off and we're just gonna go on the outside of our eye and there's like this little dip right there we're just gonna bring it up because look at that it just snatches our eyeballs it makes it look super lifted um, I don't really do too much on my eyes anymore. I used to like do a lot, but you know, sometimes less is more. And some of, like to some of you guys, this whole makeup look is not less at all, but to me it is, so. Boom. Sometimes I'll take this palette too. This is the Dior Backstage Eye Palette, um, Warm Neutrals. I'll take this color right here and 
put it on the outside as well just so it like it's not very much of a like it's not a big difference but it like brings like this warm orangey tone to the eyes which is very very cute this is the it cosmetics brush this is the blurring foundation brush number 101 we're gonna take this it's like a big fluffy brush and we're gonna take the all-nighter urban decay waterproof setting powder and this is what we're gonna use to just grab some product on there just to set our whole face and while we're doing that we're also wiping off this powder if you guys haven't noticed I like my makeup really really like matte because I just think it looks the best I feel like with matte makeup you really need to know what you're doing because it can easily look very cakey and very like not cute at all very crusty also depends on your skin your skin type too if you have like dry skin I'm not saying don't do matte makeup but your skin might work better with more dewy makeup and I'm not gonna lie dewy makeup is very beautiful too I used to do dewy makeup myself but it just it just did not work with my skin like my skin would get way too oily and my makeup would just slide off my face by the end of the day which is very sad look at that everything looks so good so now we're gonna move on to bronzing this is the brush a 3.2 and we're gonna use this this is the Too Faced chocolate something something um bronzer i've had this bronzer for so long i'm just gonna take some i pat it off on my hand as you see there's product on my hand so that there's not so much when you're applying it to your face onto my forehead and then i'm also going to take this bronzer right here also use it right there i really like to focus products on the top of my cheekbones because i feel like that's one of my best features like my face structure and then I'm gonna take this big old fluffy blush brush and just go over it and make sure everything is all blended in. This is the Minaj Short Shader Brush number three. Take this and put a little bit on the tip of your nose don't mind this little like dark spot on my nose my brother um threw a phone at my face we have this one this is the cat bondi in the color peony very very cute color looks like this and then we have this this is the mac glow play blush um in the color that's peachy looks like this she's very cute as well then we have the Dior Backstage Rosy Glow, the color pink. A lot of people don't like this blush, but I freaking love it. This blush, beautiful. And then we have the... The way my video keeps cutting off because I'm losing storage is blowing me. So that means I have to hurry up. This is the brush A2222. And I'm just going to take it and go over like this. I'm going to take this MAC one, go over as well. I'll just take this. Look at that. That is so pretty. So pretty. Well, thing we powdered with and go over so that it looks all blended in oh my gosh i forgot this bronzer I'm gonna go back to bronze i use three highlighters the kylie highlighter um press illuminating powder in the color ice me out the color pop don't know what color this is it's like a little eyeshadow and the fenty diamond bomb i forgot this bronzer one of my favorite bronzers as well this is in the color caramel cutie this adds it has like a yellow 
undertone and I really really love it like just gonna add a little bit because I promise you I know this seems like a lot of products and stuff but it's actually not that much so I'm just gonna take this with my finger and just because this is like very glittery um, it's not very precise or anything and I just, so I just like to take it on my nose and like my underneath my brows just so I have like glitter on my face take this um, highlighter I love this highlighter I only use this corner because it's so pretty and I take a little brush like this this is just a random Hello Kitty brush that my friend got me for my birthday so I'm gonna take a little bit on my nose right there on the tip and on this bridge we're going to do our eyeliner so these are the two eyeliners this is for my inner corner this is the hard candy brown eyeliner and then this is the um, one size eyeliner and I really I really don't um, care how I do my eyeliner I'm just gonna do it real quick like I'll show you one eye and then I'll do the, the other one off camera I kind of just follow my eye like my bottom up and then I just bring it back and then I fill it in so that's literally all I do the same thing with my inner corner I'm like so used to doing them I can do it so fast like boom and then I'm gonna do my lashes these are the lashes I've been using um I was gonna come out with the lash brand but I just decided not to because I'll come out I'll come out with them later on with the same style and everything but these are the ones I've been using for like the past two weeks um this is the brand this is what they look like I just cut the end of them to fit my eyes and I'm just gonna apply them with some track glue wig glue whatever you're gonna call it and then I just set them down to let it let the glue sit a little bit. I wait for that. I'm gonna do my lip combo. I use these two lip liners and this as my gloss balm, whatever you wanna call it. This is the NYX um, lip liner in the color Nude Truffle in Downtown Beauty. And then this is the Victoria's Secret Minty Shine On Lip Gloss. This is my holy grail. Like this is the best thing ever. Get it. Because it literally keeps your lips looking so good and it's sweet like it doesn't have like this weird lip gloss like chemically taste to it and it like just looks so good and it looks so glossy and it's not sticky or anything either so first I'm gonna line my lips with new truffle And then I like to go over my cupid's bow. I'm gonna put my lashes on. So what I do, I don't really know how to explain it, but I just put my lashes on and I use my fingers to kind of press them down. I don't really know how I, I explain putting my lashes on because I've done it for so long. Like, it was like, second nature to me now I'm not gonna lie sometimes this glue burns but it does its job like my lashes will not move at all no matter what I literally got dunked into a pool one time and one my makeup was still on like perfectly like it was perfectly fine like everything was still good and then two, my lashes did not come off at all. And I did not have to touch up my makeup. I did not have to re-glue my lashes or anything. My lashes just had to dry a little bit. And my face is good. Last step 
is some bottom mascara. I just used this. This is just the Essence Lash Princess. And we're just gonna put some bottom lashes on. Look at this. Beautiful. Y'all, at this point, I just need to get a whole new phone with freaking 120 some gigabytes storage because this is insane. So, I actually lied. Not That was not my last step. Um, I set my face with these two setting sprays. Um, the Charlotte Tilbury one and then the Urban Decay All Nighter one. If I want my makeup all day. Clearly, not right now because it's nighttime. So, I just set my face i'm not going to do that right now because i'm about to take it off in a, like an hour or two and then after that this one dries i'll put this one on i'll use both of these every single day religiously so this is my finished look as you guys can see up close let me bring the camera up over here so this is what she looks like um, I know I used a lot of different powders and all this and that, but honestly, it does not look cakey at all, as you guys can see. It looks very flawless and smooth, and it doesn't look like I have so much on either at the same time, because I know that that can be a fear of using so many different powders and stuff like that, but it all just melts into the skin. And like I said, it also depends on your skin type. But this is how I do my makeup and this is how it turns out. Hope you guys like this video. Let me go in like more regular lighting so you guys can see. So this is what it looks like in my bathroom. So thank you guys for watching this video. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, and share this video with whoever you want to share this video with. Your grandma, aunt, uncle, grandpa, cousins, aunts, I already said aunts, sisters, brothers, whoever you want to share it with, to be honest. But hopefully this helps with your guys' makeup routine and hopefully you learn something. And if you guys try this routine out, make sure you tag me. Um, TikTok, Instagram, Snapchat, whatever. I'll leave it down below so I can see what it looks like on your face too because like I've always seen my makeup on my face but I want to see it like I want to see how it looks on other people's faces using like the same steps and everything. So yeah. And if you stayed until the very end right now comment a mm, comment those two little pink hearts in the comment section see you guys next time